fellow Capricorns, this is your reading for the time period of August 18th to August 31st, 2017. I'm using, um, what the hell, Legacy Tarot deck. That's what it looks like there, okay? I'm doing it that long because, you know, school's starting back and um, busy schedules and all that kind of stuff going on too, okay, with me. I apologize for the latenesses and uh, just had a lot of shit going on, okay? So Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising with the Crooks on Sada. Let's see what's going on with you, okay? Let's see what's going on. Your relationship with Aries is changing. I just heard that, okay? Two, three. Okay, so your starting point has, oh, interesting. Knight of Swords energy here. So air sign coming in to say something to you, literally. It could be a friend. Uh, you could be, uh, I feel like a loved one. With this nine of swords energy so it could be a young adult air sign aquarius eva gemini you're either uh, communicating something to this person or they're communicating something to you it is passionate in nature even though it's a swords uh, it's a sword energy young adult passion has a lot to do with your mind even is going to help your mind out whatever they're communicating to you is going to help your mind whatever that means okay so it could literally be like a boost I don't know, like a mental boost or you need a mental boost from this person, okay? This could be a friend that's traveling to see you, vice versa wise. Like they're, they're trying to help you get out of your funk, you know what I mean? Or you're trying to help them. I feel like they're coming in to help you though because it was the first energy that you have coming in here. Someone, Someone's literally <laughs> coming in to take your pain away, basically with the Knight of Swords energy. If you are dealing with pain, Whatever it is, this could be a doctor, a nurse, whoever. Like, this could be someone is just in general coming in to help. You know what I mean? Like a rescuer with the Knight of Swords, a rescuer kind of vibe here. Whatever you have going on, rescuer doesn't mean like you're in serious danger. This is literally just like a rescuer. This could be a financial rescuer. Someone's offering you a job, a home, stability, etc. here, okay? What you're waiting on, page of coins, you could be waiting on yourself to get yourself together or you're waiting on another younger earth sign individual communication wise, okay? You may, I feel like, I feel like, I feel a fellow something, okay? There's an interesting energy coming off of this card. Uh, a fellow, like they're a fellow, it kind of feels like a, fr like a fraternal, like a fraternity, like a fraternal kind of vibe, a fellow something, a patron, a friend, a page of coins. So this could literally be a friend. This could be you showing up, helping out somebody that's younger than you, a family member. You know what I mean? A younger sibling, etc. here. Okay. But I do feel like you may, you may be entering into a new job where someone kind of sees you. This is interesting. Someone kind of, kind of see you, someone sees you as their equal. If that makes any sense. I don't know what that is. But someone sees you as their equal or you see them as their equal. Like I said, this Knight of Swords could be an air sign. Okay? There may... I feel this need to start a family. So this could be someone coming in to say, I'm ready to have kids with you. Or I'm ready to... I'm ready to do something with you. I'm ready to... I don't know. You could be doing that to somebody else. I feel like you're just, you're just at the point where you're breaking down and you're just saying how you feel to somebody. You know what I mean? It could be a younger earth sign or the air sign is doing that to you, vice versa wise, okay? Let's see what's in the present. You have the three of coins, very similar to Pisces reading, okay? Three of coins is group collaboration, financial collaboration as well. So Knight of Swords and Three of Coins is kind of like, do you want to do this project with me? Do you want to do you want to travel and do this kind of work with me? Do you want to do this? So you do have a choice to make. Page of Coins is newness. Okay, it doesn't have to be a younger person. This could literally be, this is a new job. So you may, you very well may be getting hired here or you are working, you are working with a child that is also an earth sign, okay? They're also an earth sign child. If you are working, if you do work with kids, you're working with another earth sign, you're working with an earth sign child, okay? Nine of Swords is kind of like, you know, I want you to, I want you to help my child. You know, I want you to help them read, learn how to write, sing, whatever it is that's going on here. It feels like, you know, you could be working with babysitting or this could be your younger, this could be your kid or someone else's child or that you're communicating with, okay? Interesting. 
Three of coins is kind of like you may need to, someone is learning financial literacy here. So you could be teaching financial literacy to this younger person. You could be telling them how to save money, how to save for college, wanting to go back to college as well, going back to school with the three of coins and the page of coins energy here. School is starting up as well. So you may, you yourself may actually be going back. This Knight of Swords could actually be financial aid that you're waiting on to hear about from school, okay? Your future has the Queen of Swords here. Libra, you have a Libra in your environment or Aquarius, Gemini, female in your environment. Um, they're a bit hasty, but I'm gonna go back to that person in one second. Your instincts has the King of Swords energy. This is very much like Pisces. So you may have Pisces around you. King of Swords and your instincts, use your intuition about them. They're a little sneaky. So either in a good or bad way, I don't know. They may be the ones that are coming in to tell you something here. You know what I mean? And it's like, you're not believing them. <laughs> they may be saying that they're moving away or they're traveling or they're doing something, but it's, it could involve a separation here as well. And that may come to a bit of a shock to you, this separation, okay? I kind of feel like in your mind and your heart, you wanted to do or do something with this King of Swords energy here, but uh, you didn't follow through with them or they didn't follow through with you. The accomplishment has the nine of coins energy here, okay? Nine of coins is kind of like, okay, I'm almost there. You know, what else do I need? What else do I need to pack? What else do, how much more of a paycheck do I need until I'm able to travel or I'm in, until I'm able to go back to school? These two cards together, literally, this looks like financial aid with the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Coins energy here, okay? So you could literally be helping your child go to school or somebody, you are going to school, back to school or a younger person, at least you feel like another earth sign individual needs to go back to school with the page of coins and the nine of coins and the knight of swords energy here, okay? King of swords could be your father, could be a fatherly figure, could be an attorney, could be a lawyer, could be someone who is very, they're very passionate about the kind of work that they do and they want to make sure that you are also passionate as well, whatever that means to you, okay? So if you're going to work with them, you need to decide, you know, is this a good fit? You know, am I a good fit for you? Or are we a good fit for each other? You know what I mean? Your spiritual self has the eight of wands energy here, okay? Eight of wands is travel. You need to travel. There's a need to start. You may be traveling for work. It's right next to your page of coins. You are traveling. There's a new job here. Congratulations. Okay, you are traveling, you're traveling further away for work, wherever you are, you're traveling further away, you left somewhere, I feel like you left somewhere that was considered to be closer to where you live, in terms of work, but you move farther away with the eight of wands energy here. This is also your spiritual self. So I do feel like you need to travel to heal literally, like you need to get on a bus or a plane in order to heal. That's what it kind of feels like to me, like you need to literally leave. I don't know. You need to be driven somewhere or drive off somewhere or fly or travel. you got to go somewhere in order to heal with the eight of wands energy here. Your finances will also heal with the nine of coins. Okay. So this air sign is communicating to you about travel, traveling farther away. They're trying to help you. They're offering you a job. You know what I mean? With the eight of wands energy here, they're traveling. Uh, fierce. There's a lot of fierce. Either you feel fierce that you're very determined to get this travel off the ground or somebody else's. Your mentality has the two of coins energy here. You need balance. Your finances need balance, and that is what you may be traveling for. You are working with a child, okay? You may be tutoring the child, you know, babysitting the child, but it's money. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's money. It's, it's coming into your into your back money is coming back into balance into your life at least you're hoping that it will fast enough so that you can travel there's a need to save up some money before you decide to take a big trip okay this may be you're waiting on some money to come in as well that may be taking some time and that's why the nine of coins is here too okay with the two of coins i need this last paycheck i need this money to follow through for me so that i can leave so i can relax and have a good freaking time okay what's changing for you you have the ace of coins this is changing because you no longer have to worry about holding on to this one coin <laughs> you know what i mean so a new job new ideas however this person i feel is a little interesting I don't know why. I don't know if they're jealous of you or something is going on there, but I'm going to get there in a second. Your resolution has the seven of swords. You are making plans. However, you may be making plans to either 
communicate with this queen of swords energy here that's in the future i feel like you want them out of your hair i'm getting like you want this person out of your hair for some reason so either you work with them before or somehow they work in the same place you do i don't know if that's the case or they lived with you they did something with the queen of swords and the seven of swords is like making plans to cut somebody off or making plans to move in with someone you know there's a variety of situations going on here now that you have money now you have a new job you're able to see things a little bit clearer so someone you have people literally the people are helping you get to where you need to get to with this energy here okay queen of swords king of swords energy is trying to help Okay, young adult knight, uh, knight of swords energy is that air sign that's trying to help you. Queen of swords, they're trying to help you help someone else, and they're also they're all they also want to help you, but they're helping you to help themselves if that makes any sense as well. So one situation is they're helping you. All three of them could apply. They are helping you. You are helping them. They may be helping you to help themselves, or they're helping you. They're helping you help someone else that's younger than you. There's a variety of situations going on here, but you are involved. This Queen of Swords is involved and the King of Swords is involved here. Okay, interesting. So you got a lot of people, well, maybe two people. I would say King of Swords and Queen of Swords are definitely trying to help. Uh, they're, they're in your hiring process here. They're the ones that are helping you make change. Is what it seems like to me, okay? So healing change, eight of wands energy here. You may be going out and getting drinks, you know, after finding out that you got hired, you know, that may be something that you're doing. There's happy news. There's good news about a job, about a person, um, a love partnership, Knight of Swords energy here. Someone may be coming out to take you out on a date or something, and you're excited about it. There's a little jealousy, though, because I'm looking at the Queen of Swords. She may be undercover jealous of your situation, so look out for that kind of energy, okay? Let's clarify to see what is going on here, all right? For Capricorn, what is the outcome? I'm just going to do three. Your outcome has the Page of Pentacles, so you have Page of Pentacles energy here. Newness, new job, new ideas, new prospects here, okay? Newness, be welcoming, welcome in the new. All right, so either someone left in order for you to travel, in order for you to heal. You know what I mean? You're traveling to heal. It doesn't have to be a far distance away. You could just be going to a bar because someone's driving you crazy. You need a drink. You know what I mean? So you just, you got people around you that are willing to help you heal. I do feel like the air sign person may be helping you heal in some way, shape, or form. Um, or fire, because this is the eight of wands here. Fire sign, Aries, Zeal, Sag. Maybe inviting you out to do something with them to help you get a break from this person or this environment or this job. Okay? All right, then, Capricorn. Many blessings. And um, at the end of the video, there will be a card that will explain to you how to contact me for private readings of any kind and also uh, any other of my spiritual services, etc. Okay? So be blessed and have a beautiful mid-month Capricorn. Bye.